Okay, so I'm back. I just had to fix this. Let me. I'll be glad I'm not gonna. I, I could carry my own. What's the name around me? But I just said no. I'm not gonna do that. Um, what is it called? My ring light to be able to pop my phone up. I want it to you guys can just see my full thing. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with my um washing my face of course. And I wash my face with the white towel. Sometimes, you know, of course the towels gotta get washed. I have to wait, but I wash my face in the white towel, of course, at all times. At all times. So yeah, that's um let me sit right there. So yeah. Of course I take my glasses off. Don't mad about face because I look really busted and crusted. Normally I wash my face before I go to sleep, but like I said yesterday, I had a rough, I had a rough week. I, oh my God. You know, RSV is like a respiratory infection, viral infection, and it, it messes with infants, like a breathing ability. So we have that going around in our daycare. We had it all week. We had like a lot of kids out with it. Um, so yeah, that is going around as well as hand for the mouth and just viral infection. So we've been going through it this week and try, I'm trying to keep myself of course as healthy as possible. Um and yeah, the health is possible. Well, I just got a little bad upper story infection with my throat and everything sinuses. So I'm like, no, nah, I don't wanna have to be bothered all that. So yeah, and I'm so mad because I met left my um my eyebrow thing at home. I'm so upset, y'all, because I need to do my eyebrows. My eyebrows look so bad. <laughs> like they really look so bad. So I'm kind of upset because I gotta try to like my hair got done last Saturday. It still look um it still looks fresh and really good. So I'm not really worried about that, and I have my oils, of course, to keep you know, or keep my scalp moisturized and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm still upset because, um, you know, it's just so irritating because my my what's the name is like really my eyebrows really bother me. Um, so I do have like a little shader though. Might have to use it just trying to like. <laughs> Uh, touch on my eyebrows a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want to, but I might have to. Um, cause my little eyebrow pencil thing is not, <laughs> it's not here. I left it, so I'm kind of upset about that. Okay, yeah, this is kind of like a get ready with me video on this beautiful Saturday morning. And on to top it off, Today is the Millennium Tour Turn Up 2022, which I will be attending tonight. And I am so, so freaking happy. Like, I am so, so freaking happy. I was not gonna go to it, but and like a couple weeks ago, my coworker, she was like, she's the one who with her cousin. So they're going, and I went on there and checked and they still had seats available that were by her. So, we're all sitting together and I am so excited because I missed last year's Millennium Tour and it was like really upsetting to me <laughs> in a way because last year it was late and she went last year and I was like, oh my God, I really wanted to go as well, but it's cool. I'm going this year and it's tonight. <laughs> so yeah, I was, I'm really upset because I had an outfit planned out. I had an outfit planned out Honey, get to the store and they had an outfit, so I really have regret. I could have, I should have just ordered it and had it sent to my house, but it was like last minute, or I could have just picked it up at the store. But the thing is, I wanted to go to another store, a different location, and um, I ended up going to another location that was closer, and then it happened, so I ended up having to just. I really just got a shirt. I got like a jersey. It's it's uh, green and white stripes and it says blessed and I could button it be real thing but I'll probably um, put a white tee with it and um I got a green tank top to go with it but I don't think I want to wear that um so I would just wear that be open because it's supposed to be like 76 today here in Chicago y'all so that's like really really dope we had some good weather yesterday was like 74 
So yeah, I'm gonna um, do that as far as um, um, what was I'm gonna do that as far as um, the concert goes tonight. I'm gonna wear that. I'll show you guys that outfit, of course, once I'm finished doing this. So yeah, I'd rather my face really, really good. Um, I don't know, I can't see my glasses. But I'd rather my face really good. So I'm gonna, of course, put my index finger in here and wet it. And just, you might not, you know, you can't really tell, but I have a pimple right here. It's been going away. It just bothers me. I don't know, it's just my face is broke out. But I'm just getting off my um, TMI, my cycle, so. It, for this month, which is a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> but I, I'm thankful I didn't have no really bad cracks. So, um, yeah, I just put this on. Of course, you know, if you deal with like flaky skin, like my nose is be white, a lot of black heads and stuff. But I try to keep from that because like I said, I sweat a lot during the day. And of course we have those masks on, we gotta keep our face clean. So I just pretty much do it, I either in a circular motion or just do a normal, you know, like exfoliating little thing, I don't know if you can see it. So yeah, it's kind of like you just, just going around like a circular motion. It's frustrating because I wish I had my thick, thick one, but it's cool. It's gonna do the justice. And I thank God, cause some people my age have so many bags under their eyes. And that just, either they're just not getting enough sleep or they're just tired. It's just sad, but I'm thankful I don't have that. So yeah, I just, uh, it's kind of slipping out, so I'm gonna hold it. But um, I don't know what my shirt. <laughs> so yeah, I just do this. Of course, I clean my eyebrows, of course. Um, yeah. I just do this a little while and you know, basically getting like all the gook on my face. Cause you know, I'm gonna be honest, our kids don't like seeing us with the mask. Like I said, I have the baby baby. So they don't like seeing us with the mask on. They like to put the fingers in your face and they be trying to pull a mask down. So you gotta keep it clean at all times. Like I said, just poke on my chin is really by me and it's slipping. That's the reason why I'm like this because it's only one finger and I like the one that has a little knob behind it to where I can hold it better. But yeah. I'm wet it again. I'm going around again. And of course, brush all this off. Get it, 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 get it. Like, if you ain't cutting your neck, what are you doing? What are you doing, honey? Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Um, kind of here. Let's do this a couple. Like I said, a couple times I do it. So I feel like it's. I feel like it's fully. Cool. Oh yeah, it's like my nose looks so much more clear. Like I deal with dry skin in the way on my face and like the flakiness, but I also have a oily skin because I sweat a lot. Like I sweat in my head. Like you know, you sweat in your before in your head, like in the top part, and I sweat in my um I sweat a lot in my um on my face. So that's why I'm kind of set my braids. Well, my braids don't get me wrong, my braids still look fresh. My braids definitely still look fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, so yeah, my braids definitely still look fresh. I'm not saying they don't, but I haven't had a taste release, which is kind of like a relaxer for me. I don't do relaxers anymore. It's like it straightens your, um, it straightens out your, um, your hair. And it makes, it straightens out your hair and it makes your hair grow with taste release. And I haven't had one of those in a, in a, in a minute now. In like a couple of months, almost a year or two, I want to say. So I just um need to get one of those, and I feel like when I get my braids more often, like of course my braids laying down, they just you know they get, you know your braids gonna get a little bit loose. And today makes a week that I, my braids have been up. And of course, it's fresh braids. Everybody know fresh braids is you know 
they not like not this braids box braids well when they loose them up of course you're not gonna see the hair but yeah i'll show y'all how my hair looks uh, like i said i'm just doing my corn while, while washing my face and stuff now but um i'm not gonna probably hop into the shower until like um i don't know i probably won't have to the shower until like another hour or so we want to actually um I'm gonna actually fix me something to eat. I got a um, wrap that was from last night. I had Chinese food. So I'm gonna probably fix that. And of course, brush my teeth again. But yeah, um, I'm upset about my eyebrows, like I said. But I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I don't think I have my edge brush. So I don't know. Try to thug it out. It's, I had uh, another toothbrush I can use. Um, so yeah, you just I just even normally I would just put my face down and wet it, but I don't want to wet my phone up per se. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wet my phone up, but if not, I normally just wet the towel a couple of times. Rinse, rinse, rinse my face off. Of course, so I can stay moisturized. Um. You can definitely see the difference in my face. I know I'm so pale. <laughs> my fat face. Um, oh yeah, that's what I do. I ain't never just say like I'm from Baltimore. Like I do. <laughs> so yeah, I do that. Um, of course, I come over here get some tissue and clean my nose out. Um, Cause you know, all the coke water. And stuff. I know that's terrible, guys. Ugh. But yeah, like from all like the blackheads and stuff, I'm squeezing my nose when I do this to get them all out. I'm gonna do this because I still have some left, and um, do just the dime size in my hand, so like this much. Not that much. Oh, yeah, use just a dime size, which is just this, and put it all over my face. So it, it goes a long way as far as um, you know, they put that, and my biggest focus points is my face per se like my cheeks um you know around my eyes and stuff and my forehead and nose not too much of my chin um and so yeah i really want to just pop all this gel off and when i go back next week which i'm going to get my nails done i probably need to soak off anyway so i might honestly today because like i said it costs very aiming to eight but doors open up at seven so i'm probably leave the house like around 6 30. yeah i thought i don't know uh, probably like around 6 30. that's because i don't want to be in that crowd per se too much but it's cool i um, just want to make it there safe and sound so yeah it definitely goes a long way as far as my face just the dab size just pretty much have my face really good. So then I'm gonna go in with my dark spot corrector and one, one pump, two pumps. So <clears throat> it's just this much. Rub in my hand and this is how it looks. And then put it all on my face, my neck, and it smells so good. So y'all see how well that went? Like, 
it went all over my face just those two clumps you don't need a lot and that's what you federalize like i said this um face oil i've had this last bottle a while because me and mama use it sometimes she riding her and she has to use mine or whatever but that's why i said i like the syringe because it's just squeeze on her face and she don't have to physically put her hands on my face stuff you know not saying her hands are not clean but yeah so this dries up a little bit different. I was gonna actually put this on first cause I know I deal with dark spots, but both of them served a good benefit. But yeah, it definitely went off. Went over my whole face. So this is, excuse me, I know I look crazy out my glasses though, but this is a clean face with um, my CeraVe cleanser on top of the skin therapy oil put on and then the dark spot corrector so yeah oh put that on and of course make sure y'all wash your hands right afterwards don't 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 do it make sure y'all wash your hands afterwards <laughs> make sure y'all wash your hands afterwards after washing your face up. I know you're gonna get in the shower after whatever, whatever you wanna call it, but like I said, I'm about to eat. I don't know, I should just normally actually get in the shower just because I can just stay in, chill out. I don't know, um, but yeah, wash your hands afterwards. Don't just wash your face and go and do what you did because you might have to, you never know, you might have to touch your face real quick for something. So it might be on the piece of hair or something and you and wash the hands so yeah um like i said i probably just take all this gel off my nails i love my polish and it's definitely gonna go with my outfit a little bit today because it's kind of like a it's like a mint green tiffany green but it's just it's not giving me the vibes no more it's not giving me the vibes so i'm kind of upset about that my nails are so pretty um oh yeah this is gonna be probably split into a couple vlogs for next week probably split it up split it up and I'll or probably take some stuff out that's not necessary like everything but the face process is definitely going because some people's asking me like how do I wash my face you know what do I use and everything of course um I told them everything so I'm gonna put this up front because everything else is finished like I said, go to Target and get y'all some of these little um, things for y'all what's name. So yeah, um, this is a, a clean face. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so good, my eyebrows look like this. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work. Once I put everything together, the jewelry and stuff, it'll come together. Um, and also, I'm gonna clean my Pearson. Not my Pearson for a sake, cause I already, I'm not gonna clean my piercing. I'm gonna clean. Well, yeah, I'm my piercing, but it's not a fresh. Um, it's not a fresh piercing. Um, I don't know if you guys knew. I got this pierce at the top. I had a bad, not a bad situation, but like it was like a piercing bump per se. It wasn't like a. Um, it wasn't a keloid. Everybody was when I went to clears and want to say keloid. I said no, it's not a keloid. It's the fact that I think because my ear. I have shoe that's cold. My ear is, my ear is, your ear is fat up there. Like that's the meaty part of your ear. And they pierced it, of course, right? That was a good placement, but um, it still is like a thick part of your ear. So it, I think it just took my eyes a while to heal a little bit longer and heal good. And I actually took the earring out because like I said, the little piercing one was bothering me. So I said, I was gonna eat, just let it close up. And I got to Claire's. And the lady said, it's not closed. Cool. She tried to stick the earring that was a little bit bigger. Then the hole went perfectly in it. No problem. I've had no problems with it recently. Like I said, earring, been, I've been out of commission without an earring up here for a while. So she did just tell me, considering my ear has already been pierced now for like a year or two now, and the fact that the hole is still open and still looks good, she told me that, honestly, I should have got this clear cleanser. They should have gave me this cleanser. But um, for me, with having a not a, just a normal piercing at the bottom, because I got two at the bottom of my ears. Those healed up perfectly with just that other tall bottle and clears. But I feel like this one 
works better for piercings that you get at the top of your ear. So this is a three week process and it's rapid clear cleansing. It's more like a bleach kind of like smell, but it's not bleach. It's like very aroma, you know. So yeah, that's been working for me. I clean it every every morning with the earring in there. But this time I decided to take it out. I took the earring out last night to sleep without it because I had a good thing. I was able to get it out my ear with no problem um the first time i tried it so i decided to go ahead and just um keep it like that so yeah these are my braids from a week like this only been a week yeah i know i have some thick hair but yeah my braids will look good they just of course they didn't got looser you know the you know the gel of course not gonna stay down too too long but my hair still looks really really good it's only been a week like i said so yeah i'm going to probably um, don't know what time it is. Yeah, I'm gonna um probably just go ahead and get get in the shower. This is some of my Millennium Tour playlist. So I can be ready for tonight for these songs. You know, little scrappy them gonna be there. So yeah, I probably just do that. Get in the shower and knock it out the way. Um, and yeah, I want to show y'all something. So this is what I use. So, I don't really use this unless needed. If for some reason I got my hair done and after like a couple days, my hair was just itching me. I don't know what it was. It just, I guess because I got a lot of new growth too. So, this is what I use. I used to, I, well, I still go. I haven't been in a couple, couple a little while. But it's a place I go to. It's a testing salon. And it's all free. You don't pay to get your hair done. They are called Avalon Industries and they're in Merrill's Park. And so, they have a couple of uh, lines. I use Care Care line for my shampoo and conditioner because that's um, anti-dandruff shampoo and conditioner. And it has like a peppermint type of uh, feel, you know, tingling type of feel on your hair. It makes it really good. And it's anti-dandruff because I used to suffer for, from dandruff. And when I started going to them a couple years ago, I have not seen dandruff in my head at all from using that shampoo and conditioner. And it's number one and number two. And I use um, Care Care products for me. And so they also have another line, which is their natural line for like coil, you know, coils and curls for girls that are natural, which I don't do that stuff. I'm not natural. I get texture release, but I haven't had one in a while and I need to get one. So I get, this is for all hair types. So it doesn't matter what, what you are. And it's called As I Am, the brand As I Am. And it's like, I still kept a sticker on this, $9.59, for so like $10. But this bottle, it's the Pro it's the growth oil, the Long and Lux Pomegranate Passion Fruit Grow Hair Oil. So this is what's really that's This is what I put in my hair two, two, I think two, two times a week, maybe three times if necessary. If I feel like my hair is not, if it's dry or whatever. So I just put this in. I don't put this in twice since I got my braids down. It's only been on a week. So I probably need another um some of this but this is a new bottle it, it does go quick so i might need to i might need to buy another bottle eventually but this should hold me over for next week because i got so i do it today i probably won't need it done again it's probably like monday night and then i'll do um monday night and then i'll do wednesday and i maybe do friday but um next week is this weekend next weekend is when i probably need to buy another bottle so yeah, this is what I use. This is what keeps my hair growing. And it's about as I am. You can get it at your local beauty supply store. Um, and then this is what I use, use the most of recently because my scalp was right, really itching me. And like I said, I do know it's probably from just me, um, of course, getting my hair braided. Um, it ain't been a minute, but I had my hair out, my natural hair out because I try to see how long this thing got. And two, because I got my hair color changed. I don't know if anybody see that, seen that, but I will definitely A clip of that um or what color i did get uh, in the back part of my hair and um so yeah the top is still red just the back got changed so this is another as i am one this is the blue section of it and um this is the dry and itchy scalp care and we got olive oil and teacher oil and it's dandruff oil treatment and when i say i by far 
right on this. This is so freaking good. Like when I say I put this on my head, just you know, you know, of course, do the little duh, 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 and then roll down the back. I massage my scalp. My scalp smells so good. It smells just like tea tree oil, and it was it, it was like everything to me. So I've had much enough of this because this bottle lasts me a long time because I don't really need it. It's only if I have my scalp that feel like it's dry and itchy. So yeah, this is what I use, but I don't really use it a lot. This is the most, this is the one I use the most because it's the pro growth oil and you want to keep your hair moisturized under these braids, honey. And I have thick hair, so my hair will itch me a lot and we don't want that. And we don't want your hair not growing under these braids. Yeah, braids grow your hair, but you have to keep your hair, you know, treated under those braids because you can't physically get to your hair when it's braided up. So this is what goes directly into your scalp. It goes it, it goes into your braids and everything. So yeah, these are some nice size bottles um, that I use for my hair. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's my good morning routine with um, with jazz bed or whatever. Uh, like I said, I probably just put a um, Go fix me something to eat. Um, and then of course, come back upstairs, um, brush my teeth, get in the shower, brush my teeth again and get in the shower. Um, and then I, my clothes are laid out, so I'm gonna um, take out with me to go see my clothes. And of course, I vlog on my phone, so you can't really flip the camera yet. That's what I'm working on. My my goals for this new year is saving get me a macbook um air i narrowed it down to the macbook air m2 i'm gonna get that one and buy me a i know for youtube purposes but y'all know i'm i have um <laughs> i'm licensed to carry and i have my foot card so y'all can get what what that is what i want to get my then my three year new, new year's resolution is to save three thousand dollars by um by september of next year and um, to get me a MacBook, to get me a, you know, license to carry my weapon. And also the fourth thing I forgot is to um, shoot that. And um, I don't know how it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue to weapon. Um, save 3000 by September of next year, um, get my MacBook, and y'all don't know how to just get my fourth go. This is why I like to write stuff down. Um, but yeah, those are my top three though. Save 3000 get my MacBook. Oh, save 3000 by September of next year, get my MacBook Air and get my weapon, because I have all my license for that, um, and to actually get me a vlog camera. So I actually have five things. Give me a vlog camera, um, vlog camera. Okay, let's start over. So, so my goals are, I'm just gonna say my goals. My goals are to save $3,000 by, 3,000 to 6,000 if possible. Three, I'm speaking into just 3,000 mostly to 6,000 um, by next um, next September or 6,000 in the next two years to save up. Um, this is for something else that I'm doing. Um, get my weapon, give me a MacBook Air, give me a ball camera. And I, I've actually been looking for apartments. I've been kind of narrowing it, narrowing it down to a couple apartments. Also to go get my license, cause I'm pressed for that. I've just been prolonging this, been like whatever. Cause I always got away somewhere. And most times if I don't want to go nowhere, I don't go nowhere, but I definitely want me a car. I've narrowed it down to a couple cars I wanted, but I got one that I really want, and that's the Lincoln MKZ. Everybody know Lincoln is like my favorite car, you know, besides Ford. So yeah, those are my um, those are my goals. So yeah, I feel like I can do it in the next couple years. Next two years, I want to be able to have everything set in stone, and I have a couple of things that's been going on, um, business wise. We got that stuff started out we're just waiting on some more paperwork but everything is in the clear that business has been being able to get started soon 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 
wait, waiting on a few more paperwork, um, whatever. So yeah, I just been pretty much doing a lot of stuff in silence. And I've actually been battling with um, depression and anxiety as of now. It might not seem like I'm doing it, but this is what helps me out to get through a lot of stuff on top of just listening to music and just being therapeutic for myself. So that'll be a separate vlog, I'm well, a separate sit down video that I'm probably gonna film um, about me dealing with that recently and trying to trying to get my, my head space together mentally, emotionally, physically spiritually because i don't want to keep i don't want to have to keep going through this i know people go through a lot but i'm a strong individual i've been through it before and i've came out of it but i just really want to get to another level so yeah those are those are my top like five or six goals that i want to do in the next year or two so yeah i'm going to show you guys my outfit um that i did lay everything out i have to iron the um iron my shirt um my white t-shirt i'm going to put a white tee under it um so yeah i'm going to um I do that and um yeah so i'm gonna go show you guys my outfit so this is my oh excuse me bra this black bra of course um my white tee which i have to um iron of course because it's one cool normally i just put them on and say whatever but um and my black socks sketchy socks or whatever um gotta have the green i know they don't fully match it but it's green you know i got like to match i do have a green bra I don't know see you mad, but I like to have everything matching, but I don't know if I want to really want to wear it because I feel like I like the black more so. And um, this is the jersey that I'm going to be wearing. I got it from Rainbows, 999, and it says blessed on it away. Just a regular, schmegla degla, um, little jersey or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's brand new. Like I said, it was $9.99. And this is a, um, yep, yeah. $9.99. Uh-oh, I'm not focusing. So, yeah, $9.99. It's a 3X. I'm not that big, y'all, but, you know, some rainbow stuff run kind of small. And then just some jeans from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, which is our 2X. Um, so, yeah, that's just what I'm wearing. Like I said, I have my shirt and everything. Got everything situated and 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 yeah gotta gotta have the fives on deck y'all know i ordered these and they came i only wore them like twice i don't know why it looked like it been i keep my things in my shoe from creasing and i'm kind of rough kind of harsh on shoes but i don't know i feel like the first day i wore these and i barely walk walk it's like this little line is bothering me but i guess it's all right though but um but yeah, these are five. These are fives. I said these are five. This is an eight and a half in me. But these are the fives that I got. Um, that I'm gonna be wearing with that outfit. So you, you do. And I'm also. I know you guys seen this. I'm also gonna be once I eat. Well, while I'm eating, I'm gonna do some of this self love workbook for women. This is really. I had ordered three books. I got a poetry book that I write poetry, in, which I have that. I'm gonna actually do like a vlog of that where I. You know, sit down and and give you guys some of my poetry things and some of my spoken word pieces. So yeah, this is my work. I'm starting to do this because now I'm going getting back into my, you know, self love and just you know I'm been depressed and going through it. So I've definitely been doing it a lot. Like I said, it's a lot of rating and it's you know, it's it's this book is really helpful. Like I said, I have a lot a lot lot to do in this book, but I've definitely did some pages in this book. So. That's a couple of pages that I've did. Um, just reading. Why women should make self love a priority. What is a lack of self love short for you? What do you why do you struggle to love your love ourselves? You know, what is self love? You know, and they just let you you know, talk about self love as part one. So Amazon really has some good workbooks. That's where I've been getting all my stuff from. And yeah, so that's my outfit for today. I'm about to go um eat up me some chinese food so i can eat it and do a little self-love workbook while i listen to some music and normally when i do like this type of stuff i listen to wiz kid or any type of um um different like culture art artists and i like jazz so i listen to certain little you know areas so i'm because i'm gonna probably hop in the shower like around 1 30 
so I can start and I can add my clothes and I'll just probably just do some more self-love workbook stuff and yeah just making sure everything is charged I'm about to put my phone back on charge um so yeah and then I'll vlog me on my way to the Winchester Arena for the concert so yeah I will see you guys um a little bit later and until next time I love you I love all my official babies and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.